Hello and welcome to Mint. This is Malvika Joshi and in this edition of From the Newsroom, we are joined by Amina Sheikh who will give us an update on the Indian Premier League. Kalanithi Maran owned Sun TV Network has emerged as the winner for Hyderabad franchise. So uh, Amina, tell us what does this mean for Sun TV Network and how is it going to impact their business? Well, uh, Sun TV's uh, winning bid did come as a surprise for a lot of us, uh, purely because even till, uh, you know, Wednesday, uh, that is yesterday, uh, PVP Ventures seems to have been the only person who had explicitly, you know, actually come forward and said, yes, we are interesting in bidding for uh, the IPL team. So Sun came as a complete googly and for them to then have been able to win the bid was um, also like an icing on the cake for BCCI of course. So they won the bid for 85 crores per year for the next five years. Now when you compare this to what Pune uh, franchise or the Kochi franchise had gone for, it's, it's a cheap, cheap buy. But let's not forget the market was expecting the valuations to be corrected because given the market scenario and given the hype that IPL had created, you know, five years before the start, somewhere there had to be a price correction. And it clearly shows right now that it has gone through a price correction. Now, what does this mean for Sun? What this basically means is that the fact that Sun is now going to be able to make its brand presence be felt on a pan-India basis. Why I say this is purely because Sun has always been a regional player. You know, they have very strong uh, footprints um, down south in the broadcasting space, in the, you know, in the print space, the magazines as newspapers, as well as in the direct-to-home business. Um, radio as well, they have presence across 45, uh, you know, stations, radio stations that they have. Also, the airline business, which is SpiceJet. So what this basically does is it gives them uh, the platform to be able to promote and market uh, their brand, the Sun TV network, uh, across Pan-India. Because let's not forget, cricket is a sport that everybody watches. It's something uh, like how uh, Bangalore, uh, Royal Challengers, that is what Kingfishers, uh, you know, brand was able to do uh, for, uh, sorry, what the Bangalore team was able to do for Kingfishers. That's exactly what benefit it will bring to Sun. But uh, we, like, you know, they have uh, won the bid for the Hyderabad franchise. But is there a particular reason why uh, when Deccan Chronicle was looking for a buyer for Deccan Chargers, you know, they did not show any interest? Well, if you do understand how this whole thing has panned out, because it's been like literally playing chess for the last one month, everybody has been waiting and watching. There have been courtroom battles on the, you know, between the Deccan uh, Chargers uh, promoters, that is the Deccan Chronicle Holdings and BCCI, and it's been, it's. It's been a very ambiguous situation for even the lenders that have lent money to Deccan Chronicle. Now, when they were looking at a bailout by way of a buyer, and when BCCI sort of also facilitated the same thing and they floated the uh, tender in September, in mid September, the only bidder, even at that point in time, um, you know, was PVP Ventures. And at that time, they were willing to pay 900 crores. You know, and now if you see, the team has actually gone for almost half of that price. Why did Sun not come forward at that point in time and show the interest is very obvious. Because if you are trying to bail out an existing team which is in debt, you know, is, is in debt, they are definitely going to be a higher valuation. So look at the difference. It's a cheaper buy now than what it would have been at that point in time. True, very true. So what are the uh, industry specialists saying about this deal in terms of valuation or how it is really going to uh, work out for, uh, you know, Sun? There have been mixed reactions. One, the market hasn't really taken it very positively. You would actually see the stock price has actually come down a little over 3% today. Second, the fact that because it is the Hyderabad franchise that they have won, it's a city that already has an existing fan base, yes, but under the Deccan Chargers name, which means they have to look at a whole rebranding exercise to be able to say, we are the new owners, we are not a part of Deccan Chargers, this is not Deccan Chargers, because Deccan Chargers is a team that has been terminated. Thanks a lot, Amina. 
while Sun has emerged as the surprise winner for the Hyderabad franchise, it will have to take up the challenge of rebranding the team. We will have to wait and watch what will be the team composition and the new team name. For more updates, log on to livemin.com.